I'm here to inform everybody that I am now a certified life coach. Yes, yes, yes. A certified life coach. And I specialize in relationships, mental health, wellness, and budgeting. Get at me. Also, you can check the Patreon to see if you want to come, you know, take a dibble or a dab or not. I also charge by the day, by the week, or by the month, or by the year. Choice is yours, certified. And if you want a coach that's just go, you know, not hold you accountable and not help you grow, go somewhere else. Because if you come to me, I'm finna be at your neck, full throttle, because you ain't here for no reason. You're here to grow. So, yeah, let's get it. Remember in the Bible when they told you that Moses led them out of Egypt, the Israelites? And we know who the Israelites is. The Israel or Israel, because a lot of people, black people and Latinos keep thinking we the Hebrew Israelites. Ain't we ain't no fucking Hebrew Israelites. You know why? Because Israel, where did he get his name? What was Israel's real name? His real name was Jacob. And then he wrestled with an angel and became Israel. Jacob represents Yaqub. There were no wives, so they put J's. All right? I told y'all that Yaqub other name is Satan, Zeus. All right? I told y'all that they spliced the black and brown germ to create these human beings. In the Bible, they tell you about Jacob separating the flocks. Let's pull it up. Jacob separating the flocks in the story of Genesis. In the Genesis story. Okay? Let's look at what the flocks were. This is all symbolic of Yaqub splicing their genetics on Nern. Okay? They put the story in Genesis and called him Jacob. They took the Y out of his name. All right. Jacob set apart the young flock by themselves, but made the rest face the street and dark colored animals that belong to Laban. Thus, he made separate flocks from, for himself and did not put them with Laban's animals. Jacob separated those lambs from Laban's flock. Okay. Now, hold on. How did Jacob separate the flock? He separated the dark from the white. That's how he separated the flocks. This is how Jacob separated the flocks. Okay? Now, so, I showed that real quick. We can continue. All right, so, Jacob separated the flocks. Okay? So, let me go back to what we was at about the winter solstice, and we talked about the 40 of night, right? All right, so, in the biblical part in Genesis, when they talk about Jacob separating the flocks, remember, there were no J's back then. His real name was Yaqub. That's that's only talk, telling you the story about when I told y'all how Yaqub, Satan, Zeus, same person, he spliced the cell. And by splicing the cells within the us, our black and our goddesses, he removed the mitochondria and discovered two black, two germs, or black and the brown germ. And he spliced those germs and discovered by getting to the nucleus that there were 48 different variations of the shade black. 16 shades of black. 16 different shades of brown and 16 different shades of, of yellow that exist inside the mitochondrial DNA, which is inside the nucleus and the membrane that's inside our cells. All right. This is why they said Jacob separate the flocks. That's when Yaqub was going through eugenics. That's they tell they telling you the story in secrecy in the Bible. Now, remember, Jacob then later wrestled with an angel. We are the angels. Remember that. So when Jacob wrestled with an angel, Jacob is Yaqub. Yakub is Satan. That's the same story when we whoop they motherfucking ass, nigga, for trying to create them. We whoop y'all Jacob's ass. Let me talk in their code. We whoop Jacob's ass for trying to separate those flocks, nigga. Yes, we did. That's why they told you, and that great serpent Satan was cast out of heaven. And that's why they also told you in Jacob's story, and Jacob later, after separating the flocks, his ass went and wrestled with an angel, nigga. All right? So, when he wrestled with that angel, then he took on the name Israel. So the Israelites will be the children of Jacob. There are 12 tribes of Israel, right? There are 13 original bloodlines, right? It's really 12. Satan makes the original bloodline, 13. Okay? So the 12 tribes of Israel is symbolic of the 13 bloodlines, 12 plus 1. The 12 tribes plus Satan, the originator, who created them. All right, so you can't say you're a Hebrew Israelite because you're saying you're you're one of your human beings. 
Israel is Jacob. Remember that. He changed his name after wrestling with us, after getting his ass whooped. See what I'm saying? Then he changed his name to Israel. This is why I be so late posting and sending stuff to y'all. Oh, you think it's funny, huh? You think it's funny?